Hey guys, Alec Pierce, Scuba Tech Tips here I am back at Dive Coworthy. And I'm chucking a little bit because, because sometimes I do a little video like this and I give you some information. And there's always good information because Alec Pierce never lies, right? <laughs> Maybe that'll become a drinking point if I keep saying that enough, Kevin. Anyway, well, I don't lie. But I don't necessarily give all the information because sometimes the information of some of the tech tips that I share with you is that they're very very technical or should not be shared with minors <laughs> and that's the case the other day a little while ago Kevin and I did a uh, did a tech tip and uh, the title of the tech tip was uh, will my tank explode in the sun tanks in the sun tanks in the sun tanks well, my, and it basically was about, well, you know, because you've heard it, you, you've all heard this. I mean, you put your tank, you get your tank filled at the dive store, right? You put it in the trunk of your car, and then you park it in the sun, and the temperature goes crazy in the, in the trunk of the car, and over 100 degrees or more. And people say, oh, you can't do that, your tank will blow up. And, and uh, your, your car will look like a beach ball afterwards. <laughs> anyway, uh, in, in that video, uh, I said, no, not going to happen quite true it's not going to happen however i didn't give you quite all the information and the problem that created is that some people said alec you're wrong well you did, you did, you did. okay let me explain here we go just quickly let's recap i'm going to talk about the tanks or the sun or anything i'm just going to give you some numbers so you technical guys out there you physics majors and uh, math nuts you can uh, you you can share this okay first of all one part of the universal gas laws was very simply that the pressure temperature relationship is direct that means if you look at this graph right here okay you know, come and come here on this graph i just need this part up here where that line is if you can get above that no matter but i'm going to show it so if you, if you draw a graph a simple graph one uh, one side is pressure the other side is temperature doesn't matter which is which but here we go and and then and then you draw a line exactly 45 degrees up the graph what that means is that as the temperature increases, so does the pressure, and it's directly proportional. So there's the relationship at this point, here's the relationship at this point, relationship stays the same. It's what's called directly proportional. If one increases, the other increases. If one doubles, the other doubles. If one triples, the other triples. Okay, simple enough. Double the temperature, and you double the pressure. Okay. So in my prior video where I talked about this, I used the example, for instance, if you have a 3,000 psi tank, or your good old aluminum tank at 3,000 psi, and it's 70 degrees, it won't increase enough for it to be a problem. And of course, some of you, some of you readers, and I really appreciate the comments, and I'm glad you did keep me on my toes, okay? Uh, Kevin, Kevin makes mistakes all the time. So keep the comments coming. 3,000 psi at 70. So somebody said, well, if it's 3,000 psi at 70, if the temperature goes to 140, which I actually said in the video, and it could get that high in the trunk of a car. If the temperature goes to 140, if it doubles, and the pressure doubles to 6,000 psi, the tank's not going to explode because you have a safety disc in there, but the safety disc is going to blow. And, you know, what's, what's going on, Alec? This is not good. Well, <laughs> this is where I, I didn't give you enough information to correctly, accurately uh, analyze this. And the information, the small but vital piece of information I did not give you is that pressure is measured in PSI, but the temperature for the universal gas laws is always measured in Kelvin. You may not have ever heard of Kelvin. You know that there's Fahrenheit, and then there's Celsius or centigrade, and, but there's another, there's another temperature measurement system called Kelvin, K for short, perfectly logical. And Kelvin is used in scientific circles, hence it is used in the gas laws, in particular this gas law. So while this line pressure is measured in PSI, we're all accustomed to that, or bar, or whatever you want, doesn't matter. This line down here is always measured in Kelvin. Yeah. So what, how does that make a difference? It doubles, it doubles. Well, eh, not quite, watch. Down here, Kevin, please. 3,000 psi at 70 degrees, okay, this is the same, 3,000 psi at 70 degrees Fahrenheit, right, is 294 Kelvin. I don't even ask why, it just happens to be. If you, if you change 70 degrees into Kelvin, it's 294 Kelvin. 
Okay? Let's double it. Let's double the temperature. If you double 70 to 140, temperature in the trunk of your car, right? 140 in Kelvin is 333. Hasn't doubled. Because it's a different system of measurement. Entirely different. So 3070 becomes 3000 at 294. 6,000 at 140 makes sense, but it's not correct. What will be the pressure, question mark, at 333? 70 is 294, 140 is 333. Well, the simple formula, you may have seen this, maybe you don't want to see it again from high school. P1 over T1 is the same as P2 over T2. In other words, the pressure when you begin 70, over, uh, sorry, 3,000, the pressure when you begin P1, 3,000, over the temperature when you begin, T1, the pressure and the temperature when you begin is 294, is equal to the new pressure, which we don't know yet, over the new temperature, which we now know is 333, right? Because 333 is the 140. I hope you're following so far. So P1 over T1 equals P2 over T2, and you work that formula out very simply, and the new pressure in this tank, P2, is 3397. The pressure in that tank the doubling of temperature from 70 to 140 Fahrenheit has gone up to 3,397. Heck, no problem at all. Very often dive stores, perhaps mistakenly, will fill a scuba tank to 3,397, 3,300 to 3,400 PSI. That's not uncommon in, in a normal, improper, but normal fill. Point is this, if you now know that this temperature and the relationship is always done in Kelvin, you can work this formula, and you can see, as I said, in, in uh, what was it called? Tanks Ta in the Sun. Tanks in the Sun, one, Tanks in the Sun, one, uh, that uh, there's no way in a normal temperature relationship, car, truck, wherever it happens to be, is ever going to reach the point where the tank would be in danger. Hope that helps a little bit. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Sorry for any confusion. Keep the comments coming. I love them. All right. Alec Pierce Scuba Tech Tips here at Dyke Worthis, by the way in Lindsay, Ontario.